So hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we are in the shop and we are going to be doing a little science experiment. Robert and I recently attended a growers meeting and in that meeting there was a company called Verdesian. Right here is, is their name. And in that meeting um, they have a product that is supposed to replace the graphite in your planter. And what graphite does, uh, the reason you would put it in your planter is it lubricates the seed meters, is helps you have better seed flow. It's supposed to, uh, and there's another product called talc. Uh, and what it does, it helps that seed flow freely and lubricates your seed meters. So right here's an example of what we use. This is just John Deere powdered graphite. This graphite looks like, that's what the graphite looks like. Just a black powder. It's real, real slick, but it's nasty. It'll get on you. But this is supposed to be a graphite replacement. And what it is, is this powder, right here's the powder. Is instead of just a product you're putting in a seed hopper that does nothing, this is supposed to have nutrients and good, nutrients and good stuff. They gave out sample kits and a set of instructions here to compare this graph, this seed plus graphite to regular graphite or untreated. We're not going to use the old graphite. We're going to have a control and then we're going to have seed treated with this. And it gives detailed instructions on what to do. Our first instructions is to label our dishes. We've done that, treated corn. That'll be the first experiment we're going to do. And the second is treated soybeans. Now they sent some corn seed for us to use, but the soybeans I'm going to use come straight what we sucked out of the planter when we finished up last year. And in my hand I have both treated and untreated soybeans. We're going to put them both in the dish and compare. They're treated with, these red ones are just treated with the fungicide compared to the white ones are just all natural soybeans. But we're going to use some of them both. So the first thing we have to do, we've labeled our dishes. The sixth thing, the sixth thing, the next thing, <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is we got to add six milliliters of water to each dish and get this paper wet here. Well, let's get this paper wet. And what that's going to do, that's going to transfer. That's going to transfer moisture to the seed, simulating, simulating what it'd be like in the field. Look at me draw that up. You can tell we're old cow men. In instructions, it says to use your forceps to move your paper around. They don't want you touching the paper, risking contamination. All right, we've got that done. It says place 15 seeds in each dish. Now it says to add these and then put the product in there. But what we're going to do is I've got this cup and I'm going to put 15 seeds in that and then put some of that graphite in there and then shake it up. I'm trying to simulate what it would be like treating no seed in the planter box. You're supposed to uh, just dust this chemical over the top and mix it up. 
Well, if you get a real heavy rate on that, it can skew the results. So I'm just going to try to put just a light dusting on this seed so that we don't get any to so that we don't get any false results to closely replicate what it'll be like in the seed box as possible. Right here we have our control. We're just going to get us 15. We're just going to get us 15 seed or close to it. We're gonna space them out evenly. They don't want them touching. We're gonna put our powder in here. We're gonna put the seed in there first. Oh. Butterfingers here. All right. I think they sent me popcorn seed. All right, now we're gonna sprinkle just a little bit on here. Just simulate sprinkling it on in a, just simulate sprinkling it on in a planter box. Now, that's plenty. I don't wanna get a bunch on it. Gonna check them up and roll it back. All right, we got them sufficiently coated. Now, see how they're just lightly dusted? I don't have gobs of it on there, so maybe that'll seem like Maybe that'll simulate it being in the planter. Last year, Robert and I had a lot of issues getting soybeans up. And if this product will help get our beans up better, I will gladly pay for this product. If it'll help get a stand, prevent a replanting, it will be money worth spent. And uh, the way they talked, it is a very cheap product, a dollar or two per acre. So I hope it works. I hope we see big results here because I want to use it. Uh, I hope it works like I say it'll work because if it'll help us get our beans up better, it'll make a big difference on our farm. Hopefully we can get some treated and non-treated beans in our sample. There's our control. We got both treated and untreated in there. And here comes our final one. And go the same process. We're going to put them in there and shake them up. Sprinkle a little fairy dust in there. We got our fairy dust in here. I got some beans in here that don't look that pretty. Kind of shriveled up and stuff. I'm gonna leave a few of them in there to see if. Uh... Here's our traded sample. Now, what do I got to do? Is I've got to go put these in a dark spot. And you want to have a set of room temperature of 70 degrees. I would like, if it was warmer, I would like to do a cold test out here in the shop because to simulate cold, wet, early planting conditions. Every day we gotta take these out and put two milliliters of water in each container and I will bring y'all along with us when we put that water in each container. And then uh, on day five, uncover the petri dish, place them next to a window, out of direct sunlight, make observations of root and shoot development over a period of 10 to 12 days. During this time, water seedlings with 10 millimeters of, milliliters of water each day. Increase to 20 milliliters each day as seedlings grow bigger. 
do not let the saline dry out. I may set up, see if I can't find something, and I'll set up one more experiment with uh, some wheat seed. Our next test here ain't gonna be near scientific. This is just the bottom of two old Pepsi bottles. Just regular old printer paper. But I got some leftover weight and some leftover treatment. I want to see what it does. All right, that's going to finish us up for the day. I'm going to go put this in the desk drawer in the dark like the instructions say. I'm going to put the instructions in there with it. And I'll bring you back tomorrow when we water them and see if uh, anything's happened. Here we are in day three. Uh, not much change in the corn seed. There's our soybeans on day three. Don't see much difference yet. It doesn't look like these beans with the graphite is taking up the water and they're like these untreated. That's just observations day three. Put them back in the dark. Water them again tomorrow. And the old windowsill in the shop is dirty, so ignore that. Treating, say graphite plus, untreated. As you can tell, the treated has got more of a shoot on it. As compared to this, you can see how much further along this is than that. Now, our soybean test, I believe it's a bust. My darn seed are rotten. I don't know if... This, it said in the uh, instructions that that was for corn only, but I thought, you know, well, I'll give it a shot with beans. But uh, you see how they rot in there, so this procedure may not work for beans. But the one I'm most impressed with, and this was just using my own, my own equipment, of the bottom of a Pepsi bottle and some old uh, computer paper. This is the treated. That is the untreated. Let me get it turned right there. Treated, untreated. Treated, untreated. That is a big difference on treated versus untreated on that, on that uh, graphite. And it's a big difference right here on this corn. But I don't know what happened on these beans. Neither one of them's doing what they are to. I bet my testing procedure ain't right. But I am super impressed with how it how, how it's worked right here on this weight. I mean, that is impressive. Well, this is probably going to wind my little experiment up on the C plus graphite. The weight right there is... Uh, Evidence enough for me. This corn right here is further along germinated. This corn right here is just barely broke the seed coat. So I'm tired of doing this experiment. I've been tending this about 10 days now. I've seen all I need to see. So I thought I was going to wind this video up, but this is uh, day 13. This will be the last day I water it before we go to Louisville. We're leaving for Louisville in the morning. Might put a shot of water in it before we leave to Louisville. And it'll be a good experiment for drought stress. We'll see which one survives the drought the best. But treated. Move that. There we go. This is the treated on the left untreated on the right treated corn on the right untreated on the left and yes i know the window sills dirty this is the shop right here's the product if you're interested in it 
I'm not getting paid to talk about this. It's just something I'm trying on my farm and a product I'm going to use this year since I've seen what it'll do. The soybean test was a bust, but I think that's only because uh, the testing method that we used ain't really good for soybeans. Soybeans is a different, totally different animal about coming up than corn or wheat. It uh, crooks out of the ground like this and the testing in the box, it said the testing procedure was only good for corn, but it worked on the weight too. But I seen enough to know that I'm going to use it this year. I think uh, that, that little test made a believer on me on how much bigger that weight was. But I thought that was something y'all might want to see. Uh, y'all know me and my playlist. Started a new series, a new playlist that's got a, agronomy in it agronomy stuff so if you're interested in agronomy stuff go check out that playlist you just uh click on my name in the corner take you to my home page click playlist and scroll down till you see agronomy if you're interested in shop work we've got the planter tore down a new project we got going on you see a wire there we'll talk more about that in a future episode but uh that's our shop work series, and we're on agronomy today. So with that being said, thank you. If you like what we do, like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate it.